In this video, we're going to continue our SQL for Business Analysis series by getting a bit more advanced in the select statement. If you missed the last video, which is the complete introduction to SQL, you can find that up above now. In this video, we're going to look back into BigQuery, but we're going to be looking at a different data set. So this is the London Bicycle Cycle Hire data set, and we're really going to be just looking at the duration of a cycle the start station name and the end station name. This is what they look like. So this is the duration in seconds, the start station name here and the end station name here. The first thing we're going to look at is concatenation. So what concatenation is, is you can chunk two or more fields together into one long string and save that as one field. So this is what it looks like as two separate fields. You've got a start station name, end station name and duration. And what this does is this will take the two fields into one field and concatenate them together. And this is something we use quite a lot in SQL. In the next query here, we're going to look at a number of different string functions. There's a lot of string functions in SQL. We're going to look at about five functions here, and they're all going to be around string manipulation. So we have the start station name here, and then I'm going to go through five functions here. So the first one is the length of the start station name, we get this by just wrapping length around the start station name. This will give us the length in characters. The replace function will replace elements within the string with something else. So if there is strand in the string, so we go start station name, comma strand, and then comma street, it'll change that to street. And you'll see this when I, I run this query. Lower will lowercase a string. You can also do upper in here as well. Left and comma three, We'll take out the first three characters of the string and substring uh, with the field name and then a start position and then a number of characters here will take out a substring of the start station name. So this is start station name, start at the fourth character and take out three characters. So I'll just give you a look at these when this is run and we've got a start station name. We've got the length of that string. We've got a replace in here. So that's replacing strand with street, but there's no strands in there. So what I could do instead is just replace gate with street. So we've got Albert gate in here, and then this is replaced that to Albert street because I'm replacing the gate with street. The next function has turned this all into lowercase. The next function has taken out the first three characters of this string. So it's this string here, ALB. And the last function has started from the fourth character, which is here and taken out the three characters after that. So E or T for Albert. The next function we're gonna look at is the case statement. And I'm using this case statement with my duration here, is here in seconds. And I'm gonna break this down into a couple of different buckets. And I'm gonna do this with the case statement. So I'm doing a rental ID duration and then a case when duration is less than a thousand, that's a short trip. When duration is between a thousand and three thousand, then it's a medium trip. When duration is greater than 3000, then it's a long trip. And then else, which is needed in a case statement, is unknown. So this will just bucket this into four buckets. This unknown probably isn't gonna be used, but can be used for if there's an error in the duration field. With a case statement, you need to put in case, you need to put in your when, you need to put in your else, and then you end that as the field name. So I'm ending that as trip category. And we're gonna run this and have a look at it. And you can see here that I have a long trip, which is greater than 3000. I've got a medium trip, and I've got short trips here, which are less than a thousand. So a really, really useful functionality here. We use case statements a lot in SQL. So the final query here is just bringing everything together. I'm gonna to take a rental ID. I'm gonna concatenate the first five characters of my start station name and my end station name. And then I'm using just a duration as well. So I'm gonna run this. And now you can see that all those functions that we've talked about today are brought together within this query. There you have it. We've covered a few more advanced SQL functions in this video. In the next video, we'll be moving on to grouping and aggregation. And don't forget to subscribe and follow for more.